So when you buy a uh, £1,000 artwork, you actually get this limited edition set um, of all of the notes from the seven different organisations in the different denominations. Um, and it's by the lead organisation. So if you choose uh, or Organic Lee, for example, as your lead um, organisation, you'll receive the thousand um, note from that organisation and then a selection of the other six organisations in the different uh, other different denominations. We're hoping that we're on the last leg of, of designing the notes. Um, we've got seven organisations so there's lots of different iterations of the of each note so we've got to get all the visuals done today. Um, there's a couple of decisions to make, we've got some foils to look at today, we've got to make some final decisions on paper stocks that we're going to use. Um, but we're like we're really close to creating artwork and starting to do the tests that will get the production line running. Yeah, so the, I mean the design is, is heavily influenced by the original greenbacks as well, and this is probably where we cut to you telling everybody what the original <laughs> greenbacks were. <laughs> the original greenbacks, which were the original dollar that were issued to avoid borrow for the government in America in the Civil War time to avoid borrowing from private banks and just it's like their war war bond war currency. So this is our kind of emergency currency. Like thinking, well, if we were champs of the Exchequer, what would we do? <laughs> not not what they're doing now. You know, where would you want the money to go in society, and what what would you want to do with it? And it's interesting that the green ink was used because it was less easy to counterfeit. Somewhere. I don't right. know why, <laughs> but but the designs are beautiful, and they were obviously the original, the origins of what became the dollar as a green back. The back is created by some bramble photos that Hillary took, which we've kind of created into a repeat pattern, which is inspired by the work of local designer William Morris. We're going to Calvert's, a workers' cooperative print place, to film the press as they print the backs, the green backs of our notes where the rest of it we'll be doing on site here but we thought we'd work with them to do live printing for the rest of the green on the back because we don't have So people who buy the artwork money will become green backers and the money this time that we raise will be shared between lots of local organisations, from football teams to food growing co-ops, food banks, all kind of working, building community wealth. And every note, obviously there's seven organisations, so this is just a sample one, this is Organic Leader. They're the first people we took photos of. They were cooperative, they said they all wanted to be equal from their co-op members to their volunteers. And that, that really dictated how we'd have to find loads of faces for every organisation. Yeah. Which I think has worked in our favour because it's got this sense of you know shared ownership. I, fi I find they work really well. We've got you know 20, 25 people on each note, and I think what it shows is, you know, the power of, of, of collective action. You know, it's this idea that we're empowering whole streets to sort of come together and do something. So the fifty and one hundred pound notes, they have actually a secret layer which is a screen printed layer of a bird design and the seven different charities um, that are featured on the notes all have a separate different bird. From the herring gull to the wood pigeon, magpie, I like the parakeets, all these, and sparrow pigeons mate. I mean, a pigeon could be a symbol for all of the organisations. And trying to justify that, I was looking at birds as messengers and all this, because it's all like quite graphic and about, and people powered. But obviously the world isn't just people and, <laughs> and these are our non-human neighbours. So you can't actually see it uh, to the naked eye, um, but when you put it under a black light um, or like what they have in banks where you can kind of see if it's a fake or not, um, you'll see the really lovely illustration of a print of a, of a bird. On, the, on this we've got like the architecture and the people power, but in the hidden layer it's like the nature that we're all actually part of. The narrative for me is about this idea of almost revolution. It's, it's you know, people coming together and saying, you know, we're not, we're not going to deal with this anymore. We're going to find our own way to solve this problem.
One, two, one, two. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Thanks so much for watching today's episode. Uh, we're very much back from holiday and we are raring to go up with the, building the power station. And since we've been gone and we haven't actually put a fresh YouTube up for a month, would you believe? So we've got lots of new members who have joined uh, and just going to give you a quick call out. We have Amanda Sebastian, um, Anne Demont, Anthony Henderson, Aidan Dickadem, Kelsey Dunn, Coral Putman and Darren Cock, Diana Trigenza, Duncan Brown, Eva Malbohm, Fiona Greenwald, Hazel Ellison, Jen Benfield, Jess Woods, Joe Meehan, Kaz Fox, Louise Hunt, Myra Enright, Ming Wai Wan, Nico Lewis, Paul Herbert, Pia Assar, Rachel French, Ruth Mills, Sarah Griffin, Sarah Satzer, Sarah Tullock, uh, Scanlon Grivel, Tamar White, Tamsin Berry, and Tracy Johnson. Thank you so, so much for, for joining in uh, in the power station uh, through August. Uh, and um, you're very welcome here. Everyone's welcome, even if you can't at, at the moment afford to back us uh, financially. There's so much you can do uh, by sharing it uh, and also lots and lots of stuff that you can find out inside of the power station. And just coming in uh, into the membership group on Facebook and stuff, it's, it's creating a, a sense of possibility, I think, and that's probably the most important thing that we're doing. The possibility of imagining that we can actually create something together and then following through and turning that imagination into action. So that's really, I think, what the power station at its core is offering. And we will build this new infrastructure among the ruins of the old. So uh, we also have lots and lots of people who have uh, renewed their membership. Thank you so much for being in it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Uh, and thank you also for renewing. We all agreed uh, in the kind of, in the power station here in uh, Lynmouth Road that what we need to be doing in the forthcoming months uh, is really giving ourselves to our creativity, imagination, not be frightened. Effectively, we need to believe that we can build this. Even among the chaos of 2022 and the dire um, economic forecasts, uh, you know, that, there, that we are not going to allow scarcity to uh, and fear to dominate the choices that we make. So we're gonna keep building and we're going to keep working day in, day out, relentlessly on building the world that we want in the here and now. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.